invite him into our homes and allow him to do what he wants to do as we open our hearts. Hallelujah. Stop. 
Hello guys, good evening. This is Sarah once again, and yes, thank you so much, uh, Kenosis, for that wonderful time of worship. And tonight, uh, we will be having conversations about do do what it says or doing what uh, what God says for us to do. All right, but before we do that, let's go visit one country first. So let's go to Japan, land of the rising sun. Konbanwa or good evening. Banwa, right? And this is their flag. And of course, who knows uh, Sanrio? So, who loves Sanrio? Hello, Kitty. So, yeah, it's a Japanese company. Maungkit kayo na ilang mga characters, right? Kawaii. So, that's Sanrio. And bonsai, the term means tree in a pot. So this art of growing miniature trees actually originated in China and was adopted by Japan during the Kamakura period, which is uh, from 1185 to 1333. So food, um, takoyaki, this is octopus balls, uh, street food in Japan, and of course, ramen, my favorite, right? Japanese noodle uh, soup. All right. 
So tonight, uh, guys, we will encourage ourselves to just do it or do what God is telling us to do. Okay, dilita mo pagahe gay gundo, right? Ako na dito gay gundo. Right. I don't know what you may be going through, but I pray that our conversation tonight would encourage you to pursue your walk in the Lord as He is always good and faithful to never leave you nor forsake you. Right? He is always with you no matter what you're going through at this very moment. So just hold on tight. Before we dig into God's word, let's um, pray first. Hallelujah, Father God. We thank you for your goodness, for your love, for your grace, for your mercies. Lord God, we thank you for your faithfulness, Lord God. There's no one else like you, Lord. So tonight, we just surrender everything at your feet. Lord God, we lay down our hearts before you, our thoughts, Lord God. And we pray that we just get to receive whatever you have prepared for us to receive this night, Lord God. Just have your way in our fellowship, Lord God. To you be the glory, the honor, and the praises. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, uh, let's go to uh, James chapter 1, verses 22 to 25. Uh, it says, My dear, uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, James 1, uh, chapter 1, verses 19, 19 to 25. Okay. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it not forgetting what they have heard but doing it they will be blessed in what they do amen hallelujah so tonight let's talk about um doing what the lord god says in us i believe that he has a message for us individually so um, i pray that we get to obey um, what he's telling us to do all right so in order to do that we have to have the listening skill the ability to listen right so listening skill listening is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process so listening is key to all effective communication without the ability to listen effectively uh, messages are easily misunderstood and listening is one of the most important skills that one can have right especially sa kanang nasa customer care uh, industry or I believe wherever we are you know it's really important to have um, the listening skill because it's you know very important in our relationships right so it says there in verse 19 my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires so communication is very much important in any relationship. That's what I've mentioned earlier, most especially in our relationship with God, right? So to effectively communicate, one must know how to listen well. In our relationship with God, dili pwede nakita na lang sige istorya, right? Nga si Lord ra sige Panginoon na to. So most of the time ra ba at watan na ang istorya, correct? Right. Correct. So it's a two-way conversation. So we need to learn how to listen to the Lord when He speaks to us. We take time to listen to those we held uh, in high esteem, such as our teachers, um, parents, clients, customers, uh, work, right? Bosses, leaders, our pastors, and even earthly authorities, right? But most of all, we need time 
to listen to God as He speaks to us. So again, love is spelled as time, T-I-M-E. So when we share our time, that is already an act of love. That's already saying that I care for you and I'm listening. But how about those we deem not worth of our time, right? How about those people that annoys us or have hurt us or have offended us? Do we listen to them to seek to understand them? Or do we retaliate in anger or do the cold sh shoulder or the cold war thingy on them, right? So again, as we read on the verse, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Amen. So which is why James urges us to get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent. So we are advised and we are encouraged to be selective of what we see and what we hear, especially on uh, on television and online and on the internet, right? But because we are living in a fallen world, sometimes it just can't be helped. Even if we select what we watch on TV or online and select the music that we listen to, but because we are still in this fallen world, it just can't be helped that life happens. So we still see and hear things that are not of of gods all right but of this world so it re if, if it really can't be helped then uh we must do still we must you know filter the things that we let in our lives but if it can't be helped then we really must do the garbage in and garbage out as what one of my friends um in the office said but problem is most of us won't let the garbage out right and would even prefer segregating them Re reusable recyclable right no misery it be party so kani reusable guru ni bitterness recyclable offenses recyclable unforgiveness reusable really but sometimes you know we can't help but do that in ourselves right but you know um Truth is, basta gani basura, wala na na eh. mga recyclable nila, reusable, di ba basta basura, ipagawas eh, yun na siya, no? Sa tuang life, right? Pagawas yun na siya tanan, wala na yung segregate, segregate, segregate. Labi na, di ba, if, if we're hurting, no, we don't want to kanang let those filthy things out, um, di ba? No, mag tamad kita, ipagawas ang mga toxic waste sa ato ang life no so ang ending kita kita ma toxic ang ending mo na siya no so it's not good it's not it's not good it's normal to get hurt but to retain all this filth in our lives is not what god wants for us it's not what he desires for us right so let's get rid of all those things that weighs us down sa atong lakaw sa Pinoo, like, like the runners, right? So race, right? Diba? Very lightweight ilahang ginasuot so that they can run fast. And for me as well, you know, for, for traveling, for those of you who love traveling, for me personally, I prefer to travel light. You know, you may think you'll have all the inconvenience when you travel if you you know brought all the things with you kumbaga you you've brought your whole house with you but it's actually more convenient to just bring what's necessary right when traveling so it's the same in life uh, we don't need to carry those excess baggages in life when traveling right they may not even be worth the baggage fee <laughs> so the life no atong ipang let go na ng mga excess baggage dera it's not what god wants for us so so we have to forgive we have to let go of the past hurts um pains and offenses right and just fix our eyes upon the lord so except lang daw ko no kung pasalubong imong dala so okay ra kay na kung mag excess baggage ka basta kay pasalubong <laughs> right okay Okay, so and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. So if we read the verse again, 
um, to get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. So it says that the word is planted, which means we are expecting that this will bear fruit, right, in our lives. As we read in the verse, and ha humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you, because the word is planted, then definitely it will bear fruit in due time, and only God's word can save us. If we remember Jesus' words in John 15, uh, chapter 15, verses 1 to 5, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So no, we have to accept the word that is planted in us so that it can bear fruit. And this word can definitely save us. And we know who the word is, and that is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. So do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. That's in verse 22. Do what it says. Uh, verse 23, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. So this is not merely a nod in the head when we hear the word of God and then we walk away as if we did not hear anything. It is actually the love of God that compels us to respond to his word. So as love is an action word that compels us to obey of what he is saying to us, of what he is telling us to do, right? So it is important to listen to what God's word says, but it is much more important to obey. Ang application, ang pinaka-importante, right? to do what it says. We can say that we have grown in our relationship with the Lord if we're able to put into practice what He is teaching uh, to us, what He is teaching us. All right, in verse 25, it says, But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. So na today she promise, right? They will be blessed in what they do. So God's law offers us a true reflection of our sinful condition and gives us the opportunity to ask God, ask for God's forgiveness, right? We are saved by God's grace and salvation frees us from sin's control. Amen. As believers, we are free to live as God created us to live. So this does not mean, though, that we are free to do as we please. But because of God's forgiveness, grace, and salvation, we are now free to obey God. It is Christ's love that compels us to obey. It is his love that compels us to obey. All right. So in conclusion, it is um, Jesus' love that compels us to obey, to do what the word says. So again, let's uh, remind ourselves to be quick to listen. It is so important in our communication, in our relationships, you know, for us to listen. Slow to speak and slow to become angry, all right? It is not the will of God for us to, to uh, be easily angry. It doesn't produce uh, the righteousness that he wants for us, right? He wants us to get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent. So whatever we can, um, we welcome in our lives, that we let into our lives, no, they can either be good or bad. So those things that uh, are not, you know, cannot help us in our work, work in our walk with the Lord. We must kind of consider it as garbage or filth. So garbage in, if natin mga napasulod na mga garbage, 
because you can't be helped we are still living in this kind of fallen world so garbage out so go was you national we don't want to be toxic it's not what god wants for us right he wants us to kind of to be a vessel for him to be uh, to be used by him all right for the indwelling of his holy spirit so we have to let those garbage out in our lives okay humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you so we must um, accept the word of god um, in us you no know, we remember that jesus is the vine and we are the the branches so we are expected to bear fruit um, through the word uh, that that god has placed in us right so uh, definitely um, it should bear uh, good fruit in us all right to, to do the will of god all right and do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves to what it says so no na gani uban mo ingon na mas may pa daw na na maka memorize tag one verse but we are doing it it can be seen in our lives than for us to know a lot of verses but it's not seen in our lives so i believe that this is a word for all of us to really kind of not take the word of god um, for granted and most especially we have to really apply it in our lives no for us to bear fruit all right for the glory of god so do not forget what you've heard continue doing it and you will be blessed in what you do so there's a promise in there that if we continue uh doing what we have heard na dilita mag kalimot kalimot all right kay usahay ato ipasangin lan ang ato ang age <laughs> well well that's true but definitely when it comes to the word of god we should not forget what we've heard all right and we should apply it in our lives so that we will be blessed in whatever we do okay so i hope that you uh, have learned something tonight na to ang ma apply sa tong life because that's the goal right to to grow in the knowledge and the grace of Jesus Christ all right dili ta makontento sa kung asa ta karon but we have to grow um maturely spiritually all right for for um for God's glory alone for us to be used for his kingdom for the expansion of his kingdom for his work here on earth to be done all right for us to fulfill his purpose in our lives here on earth so let's pray Hallelujah, Father God, we thank you for tonight. We pray, Lord God, that you help us through your Holy Spirit, Lord God, to do your will in our lives, Lord God. Lord, we can't do this apart from you, Lord God, so help us to always abide, Lord God, in you, Lord God. Help us to always obey you, Lord God. It's your love that compels us to do your will in our lives, Lord God. Help us to not forget, Lord God, what you have kind of spoken to us, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. So tonight, Lord God, as we part ways, may you just continue to be, Lord God, with us, Lord God, for those who are working, um, continue to bless the works of their hands, and for those who are resting, Lord God, we pray for your, kind of, to refresh us once again, Lord God, as we, as we rest tonight, Lord God. We thank you for your goodness, for your grace, for your love, for your mercies, Lord God. We thank you for your presence in our midst, and I pray, Lord God, that you just can have your way continuously have your way in our lives lord god, as we also continuously surrender lord god to your will lord god just have your way lord this we ask and pray in jesus mighty name amen sayonara guys see you again next time